Hi there, my name is Almalana, and I enjoy playing a dot the chef. All right, let's get back into it here. Um, so last time we did uh, Sounds Delicious. Um, the next actual um, level is Peer Pressure, but let's go ahead and try I Can't See. Right, uh, I Can't See. 20 orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 150 <laughs> watts and use fewer than 60 ingredients. You're making hot dog and chicken and fries. Oh my, who's there? I'll exterminate on site. <laughs> oh, it's you. My apologies, fellow human. <laughs> the power constraints here at the beach are literally grinding my gears. I've tried to make an efficient layout myself, but it, it keeps causing a blackout. Can you fix it for me, please? Uh, well, firstly, I wish I could highlight everything and delete it because I know I can't but I'm gonna try it anyway oh wait totally did it great let's just start from the beginning so fried chicken and fries can go in the same packaging machine um, because fried chicken actually ends up uh, you have to have an assembly machine for it anyways um, it's like a lovely little, um, try thing that you can just, so you go like, kind of like this guy and then here, and then we need a fryer and then, um, let's see. Yeah. Fryer there. And then, uh, let's see, does it need, how much does it, how many things, yeah, that needs to be broken, that needs to, okay, everything needs to be cut up. Okay, I think I need to do this ever so slightly different. I can go like this, and then there, and then, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, no, not conveyor. This guy will be doing that and go the that away. And then conveyor guy goes that way, and then a smart guy will pull off. And then you're gonna do the fried, fried chicken pieces, and then go the that away. Okay. And then um. This is bread slice and uh, egg and chicken, raw chicken. Okay. And then that'll kind of contain itself ish. Uh, and then you're going to put together the bread and chicken pieces. And then we're going to have a guy pull you off and put you onto the belt. Did I mark this for both? Yeah. Okay. And then let's see. We can have. Uh, I don't like sharing the fryer because this fryer is gonna get a lot of salmonella, so that definitely has to be a separate thing. Uh, let's see. Turn you that way. Food processor. It's probably not a good idea to have two food processors. I mean, it's only 650 watts, man. Uh, potato. Okay. Uh, let's just down clock everything. Even if we do say only on when the uh, thing is working. Power saving. Okay. Uh, right. So you need to have a thing that pulls off. And then you need to have a thing that pulls off. Smart. You're gonna go that away, and you're gonna pull up the fried potato wedges, put them on that belt, and they will go all in there. Now, the only other thing I need is a hot dog. I wish I could use this for both the hot dog and the grilled chicken pieces because, like, 
it can do both, right? No, it cannot. Okay, I thought it could. I thought it could, but it can't. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's start from the beginning. There, and then a assembler. And then a grill guy. See, where's the dispensers? Okay. So, grill guy, and then bun guy, and then let's see, you can be the raw patty. Uh, wait. Raw bun. Raw hot dog. Right, we're not doing burger. Okay. <laughs> uh, hot dog bun. Okay. And then you're gonna be the hot dog. Uh, that looks right. Except for you're going to be on the right side. And then we're going to power save. Okay. And we're going to just power save here as well. And then... A couple of dumbs. And a smart. Really? And a smart. And you're going to go that away. And you're going to pick a cooked hot dog. And you're going to go that way. Straight. Left. Right. Um, simulate me in order, please. Hmm. One thing I do need to do that I should have done already is pop in an order reader. Or three. You're going to do the fries. We're going to connect to you. And you. And you. And you. And you're going to be... Uh, perform action one time on new order, or no, let's do on while order is pending. Uh, on while order is pending. Uh, on while order is pending. On while order is pending. On, on, yeah. And then dispense one. Okay. You are gonna be fried chicken. We've got this. That and the other thing, and then this, and on while order is pending. One, 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 okay. Oh, I've done this wrong. Oh, I've done this wrong goes to the breaded chicken pieces and then goes to the fryer. Oh, right. I can fix it. It's fixable. Does that mean I don't need a smart? No, I do need a smart. Okay, but the smart can go here and go straight. And that one's gonna come here. Okay, we'll just put you there. We're gonna go like that away. And then we're just gonna slide everything over oh, this way. Lovely. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how this is set up. I'm not gonna even worry about tight. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. 
let's just be honest. Okay. So that guy is going to put him in there, and then that guy will take him out. And he is fried chicken pieces already. Uh, okay, so this order reader is going to do plain hot dog. We're going to talk about that one. We're going to talk about that one. Then we're going to talk about that one. And we are going to talk about that one. On while order is pending. On while order is on while order is pending. One and one. Okay. Um, I think I forgot to finish this. No. One one one. On while order is pending. Okay. So let's do the fried chicken again. Simulate that order. <coughs> took a little bit of time. I think it's okay, though. Alright, let's look at fries. Okay. Last thing, hot dog. Alright, let's give it a try. I don't think I'm going to make the energy usage. I mean, look how fast it's climbing right now. I just got way too many things. <clears throat> I only have to do 20 orders, though. I've got literally everything underclocked. Which is why it's taking so long for orders to get out. Seven's not bad. Uh, I did use too many ingredients. How did that even happen? Um, I think I can do a little bit of a fishy efficiency kind of thing. Uh, just taking that one out uh, here. That one for sure would, would make it better. Um, I could tighten stuff up, but like as far as getting things out faster, I don't think I can do it. Um, we could like fidget, like deep fidget with the Frymatic guys and be like, Hey, you can only um, run for this amount of time. So the, the cooking time is nine seconds. So I could say to the order reader here that has that Frymatic to say, turn um, on For, on new order for um, 12 seconds kind of thing and then let's just take a look at the fries and see if that's long enough for it to be chopped and then the fry matic to fry I don't think it is yeah see it's not it's super fidgety to do that Super, super fidgety. And, oh, what do you do when you're backed up kind of thing? I don't know. It's too fidgety. Let's do this and take what we get. Look at all that salmonella. Yeah, I've got that, um, the fried chicken, uh, thing under clock, so it's just like, uh, I'm gonna take the 67, uh, that's not a bad, that's not a bad score, 
It's fine. All right, so um, that was pretty quick. So let's just um, give it a start on peer pressure. Bring it on. I can take your pressure. All right, 40 orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 2,800 watts. Use fewer than 300 ingredients. 40 orders. Whoa, look at that big sandwich and a salad. Lovely. To be back at the seafront. Don't breathe in too much air, though. It will corrode our circuits. Regarding the issue with the power grid around here, like most humans, the receptionist at the utilities com company was loathsome and must be crushed, being no help in restoring a reliable power grid to my premises. The demise of man waits for no one. I have given you a generous budget to compensate. Use those order readers to save every delicious watt of that sweet, sweet electricity. I'm expecting the beach burger to be especially popular today, so keep an eye on the orders. There's even some new machines for you to use to produce them even more efficiently. Yeah, it's uh, high-speed dispensers. Look at all the watts. Look at the power consumption. It's double. Uh, oh my goodness. And they want us to use them. All right, let's look at the small family meal. Mother of Pearl. Okay. Side salad. Fries and fried chicken. Times two. Uh, what's the side salad? Shredded lettuce, tomato slice, carrot slices. Okay, so those all go one through one thing. Uh, let's see. Dispenser. Lettuce. Tomato. And then carrot. Come on. You're all going to go through a food processor. Um, and then I need a conveyor belt. Love it. And then you go into an assembler. I like that. I like that a fair amount. pretty good. I could do a little bit of messing around with that to get it out better, but it's this small family meal that I'm a little bit worried about. need two of these um, arms. Hmm. Let's do the whole storage unit thing again. And then I'll just underclock these. It's not really underclocking, I know that, but... Put those all at 20, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. 
Right, and then let's do a fry thing. Actually, let's do another arm here. So you're gonna ditch him in there, and then you're gonna... And you're gonna be independent, like, whatever's. And one will put it on so that it goes out into the world. And then one will put it on um, a belt to take it into the packaging machine, which I will put here. Uh, this is gonna be the small family meal. Uh, yeah. The other one will do the fried chicken and the fries. I'll have another one, is what I mean. Uh, here. Come here. Yep. Just the, beach. the beach burger. Oof. It's a lot of stuff. We'll get it in. It'll fit in here somewhere. <clears throat> So, fries and, uh, give me another packaging machine, and this will be for the fries and fried chicken. Okay. So, let's do the fries a little bit backwards. Uh, we need a cutter guy. Food e processor. We will be potato. But because you only go in the small family meal, you will also have an order reader to limit you. Unlike the side salads. Side salads are underclocked so that we can put them in this bin and not have too many. Uh, let's bring all of this up. And give me this guy here. And then a smart guy here. You will go a that away. And you will pick up fried potato wedges. Mmm, fried potato wedges. Yum. Alright, and then the next thing I need is. Uh, I really want to use two fry. Yeah, I do. I go so back to the whole thing. Like a, a regular restaurant would not use um, the same. Yeah, they wouldn't turn off their fryer, I guess. But I can turn it off, but only for. I'm babbling. Pay no attention to me. Fry no straight fried chicken pieces. That's breaded. Fried chicken pieces. Okay. And then assembler. You're gonna go here. And then you are gonna be the breaded chicken pieces. The dreaded pick chicken pieces. Okay, this one. I was thinking that maybe I wanted to have more than one cutter here, but probably not a good idea. Alright, I want you uh, here. And then this here. <coughs> That is going to be bread size, egg, and the egg's mama. Right, and then you go that way. I am not underclocking you. In fact, I'm not underclocking anything. Because, especially this, I could underclock this. <clears throat> Underclock. <laughs> I'm overusing that word. 
Yeah, I can't underpower the storage unit, so that's good. Um, let's put down some order readers, and then we'll give the um, <clears throat> we'll give the thing a try. I think I'm gonna have to have two order readers for this. Connect a new part. For this, you're gonna need that. You're going to need that. You know what? I'm going to do all the food on one. So let's do the food first. Here are the um, ingredients. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Nope, these are two. Two times, two times, raw chicken, two times. Because again, the family meal has two times fried chicken, but only one fry. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'd rather have two times both. Okay, let's do another order reader, just to get the powered things here. Uh, this. This. And this. On what order is pending? Do the action once. On what order is pending? And on what order is pending? Okay. So I think the salads are all ready to go. Let's give the small family meal a run through. Faced wrong. I'm just gonna move this guy here for now. <clears throat> I want to see how many salads stack up. Nice. It's only one salad. So I do want to do an order reader for salads, and I'm only going to put this on, well, no, to perform action one time on new order. Okay. That's it. That is the only thing I'm going to do with that. Now, let's look at the beach burger. <clears throat> Mama. All right, beach burger, three patties, grilled mushroom. So that needs to be chopped and that needs to be chopped, but then that chop needs to go into grill. Hmm. I'd rather just have two cutters. So let's start with the assembler machine. Ah, trying to rotate it. <laughs> I'd like it to be there. I get why that might be tight. So it's going to be the beach burger. Yes. Um, high speed. Okay. So for this, I want a tomato and a chop. And then probably just this thing to point it out. A uh, chop. And then a tomato. Tomato. Okay. And then everything else is going to come off of a conveyor grill. I don't really think it matters. Because everything should just come right off it. 
don't think we need to worry about it not being cooked. I think that'll be fine. Uh, let's put a conveyor belt. And then a food processor. Um, here's <laughs> I was gonna say, here's fine. Until it decided to get all derpy. This will be the mushrooms. Okay. And then let's do the high speed. Probably shouldn't. But we're gonna try it. Okay. <clears throat> Everything that comes through there should be cooked. But I just want to give myself like a little bit of insurance by putting another conveyor. I wonder if this could benefit from a fast one. No, it won't. Because the one underneath the conveyor grill is slow. So that's fine. Uh, let's put in a couple of the order readers. Um, and this is obviously not as neat as I normally am. Uh, here and here. Oh, you know what I've forgotten. Nah, don't eat a bun. Just give me the meat. Uh, I need a conveyor. Rough chair. That's good. Too. Okay. And then put that bun on. Alright, so this is gonna get three. This is gonna get one. One. And one. I just want to see if it works, so we're just going to simulate it here. Nope. What did I miss? Aha. Okay. Right, let's try that again. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. I'm gonna specifically, uh, specifically look at the salads because I have them kind of delayed-ish. Increase the salad time. It is the salad that is keeping those from. Okay, I'm just gonna even stop it right now. All right, let's do this on 15 and 15 and 15. There might be a sweeter spot between there, but who knows? Oh. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to limit the powery things over here. Okay. So you're gonna look at the beach burger and now you're gonna look at all the powered items. Uh, I think that's the only grill. And then here. And then you're just all gonna be on while order is pending. Can I adjust the conveyor grill? No. Okay. Because if I could adjust it, I would have turned it up higher. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing that's really running full gore is the salad. And it needs to. Yeah, I see it's still waiting on side salads. That's okay. I'd rather it be a little bit slower than... Um... Ooh. Wow, look at the power fluctuations there. It's 
Nice. Did it? No, it did not. Mm, like, right in the edge of power here. Oh no! <laughs> no, don't expire. I'm over my energy. Yeah. It's okay, the lady of the thing is just gonna have to suck it up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no. I mean, how was that a success? <sighs> okay. Um, go ahead and take a look at my layout. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here today. Take a look at my layout. See what you would do to improve it. Um, and give me any uh, suggestions down in the comments. If you like this video, please don't forget to like. If you would like to, you could also subscribe uh, or you could share it around to um, have some of your friends uh, point and laugh at my particular design. I don't know how things got so spoiled in there, but um, I'll have to take a look at that too. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. You all have a lovely day.